Here we go again. Manchester United have reportedly launched a formal approach for Bayern Munich defender Matthijs De Ligt. Eric Ten Hag is keen to add another centre-back having already signed Lenny Euro for 52 millions of pounds from Lila. And Bill's Christian Falk reports that Old Trafford Chiefs have had an initial offer worth 29.5 millions of pounds rejected. Bayern are reportedly holding out for 42 millions of pounds plus add-ons. The Bundesliga outfit are believed to need to sell players to fund their own summer spend, and talks are continuing between the clubs. Ten Hag introduced Delict, 24, to first-team action while they were at Ajax together. The pair maintain a good relationship, and Delict fits the profile of ball-playing centre-back United are keen on. Bayern president Uli Honus has opened the door to an exit. He toiled German media at the weekend. It's possible that a defender will leave. De Ligt is Dutch. The coach at Manchester United is Dutch. I would have no problem if he stays. Personally, I would not sell Dayo Upamecano. New signing Euro has got off to a flyer since joining United. Fans took to social media to praise him after a clip of the 18-year-old playing a brilliant pass went viral. And Euro was also hailed for a brilliant last-ditch tackle in a 2-0 friendly win over Rangers. Defensive midfield is another area Ten Hag is keen to improve in, with Paris Saint-Germain and Uruguay playmaker Manuel Ugarte, a top target. The Red Devils have also strengthened up top with the arrival of Dutch forward Joshua Zerksy. Despite the strong Netherlands connections in United's summer business, Ten Hag claims it is Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the board who picked their targets. He told Dutch outlet AD, it remains to be seen whether Matthijs de Ligt will come, I know him well. I wanted to sign him two years ago, but at that time, he was already very far along to join Bayern. Believe it or not, his name did not come from me in the process. During my vacation, I was three or four weeks out of the process. During that period, it was really the club, the newly equipped scouting and recruitment department, that brought in these players. The fact that there are also Dutch people among them is in fact a coincidence. Primarily, these were players who were proposed from our organization. But of course I support it, let that be clear. And we still make the choice together. Sir David Brailsford turned up at Ten Hag's Ibiza holiday home to tell him that new part owner Ratcliffe wanted to keep him on. But if he was expecting a man grateful for another chance, he was very wrong. In fact, Ten Hag laid down the law with Brailsford, Ratcliffe's right-hand man, and other members of the United hierarchy during a four-hour meeting. Ten Hag revealed, I gave my vision of the season on the situation at United, and I indicated which path we should take. You have to be very honest with each other about that, and then it's about, do you come together or not? I also told them, if you think this is not the way, then we should just part ways on the other side. Manchester United have not been afraid to splash the cash this summer. In what is Eric Ten Hag's third season in charge, the Dutchman has certainly been given backing by new minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. The Red Devils made Bologna striker Joshua Zerksy their first signing of the summer. He was followed by young defender Lenny Yoro, who completed a big money move from French club Lille. United spending does not look likely to end there. Another center back and a midfielder is on their shopping list. So, Benfica president Rui Costa has announced that his side have received a bid for Man United target Joao Neves. Speaking to Ebola, he said, I never said that Joao Neves would only leave for his release clause, and therefore, those claims are false. What I can say in relation to Joao Neves is that there is an offer on the table. That has been in the news in the last days, but I'm not going to say where this proposal stands. There is a proposal on the table which is being evaluated and is being discussed. But at this moment, Joao Neves remains a Benfica player. It's not that I want to hide the ins and outs, because I understand that Benfica fans want to know whether Joao will be leaving or not. But at this moment, there are ongoing negotiations. So please allow me to be reserved about this subject, so we can take care of what will be best outcome for Benfica. Meanwhile, Man United were recently credited with an interest for Ivan Tony. However, Thomas Frank admitted he won't come cheap. Asked if Tony could stay with the Bees, Frank said, You never know. He's a Brentford player and I would love him to stay. That would give me a very positive challenge. But I haven't met a coach who doesn't want as many good players as possible. Right now, Ivan is a Brentford player. I would be more than happy if he stayed with us. He's a goal scorer, 
and that's very good to have in your team, so if you want to buy him, it's expensive. Additionally, Danny Olmo will be allowed to leave RB Leipzig for around 50.6 millions of pounds. The Spain midfielder starred for his country in their Euro 2024 win. Man United, Arsenal, Man City, Barcelona, and Bayern Munich are all said to be interested. Fabrizio Romano adds that a move could happen within the next few weeks. Elsewhere, Juventus have plotted a plan to bid for Jadon Sancho. The old lady will reportedly raise funds by selling winger Matias Sol to Leicester City for around 21 millions of pounds. They will then use that cash to launch a bid for the Man United winger. Caught offside claim personal terms have been agreed with the player. On the other hand, Facundo Pellistri could be set to leave Man United, according to reports. Greek side Panathinaikos are reportedly discussing a move, claims journalist Giannis Chorianopoulos. Chorianopoulos wrote on X, Panathinaikos are in talks with Manchester United to sign Facundo Pellistri. Greece is not player's priority, but it's an open case. On the other side, Manchester United are looking to pull off a reported double transfer swoop starting with Xavi Siemens. The 21-year-old attacking midfielder is currently on holiday after impressing for the Netherlands at Euro 2024. Simons is contracted to Paris Saint-Germain, but shown on loan at RB Leipzig last season in the Bundesliga. His performances have led to huge interest from across the continent, but it looked to be Bayern Munich that had won the race to sign him. He had already reportedly agreed terms with the Bundesliga giants. However, Lakeep states that United are hopeful that they can hijack the move. Meanwhile, Jared Branthwaite breaks silence on Man United transfer offers after Lenny Yoro move. Manchester United had made Jared Branthwaite one of their top summer targets, but appear to have moved on from the defender after Everton rejected two bids for him. So, Jared Branthwaite has insisted his full focus is on Everton having seen the Toffees reject two bids from Manchester United for him. The Red Devils made the defender one of their top targets for the summer transfer window after an impressive debut campaign at Goodison Park. The 22-year-old won Everton's Players Player of the Season and Young Player of the Season after his starring performances. Those displays attracted the eye of United, who have prioritized signing defenders this summer. But the Premier League giants were twice rebuffed by Everton, who value Branthwaite at between 70 millions of pounds and 80 millions of pounds. United were only willing to go as high as 46 millions of pounds though, and have now turned to signed Lenny Yoro. The 18-year-old landed at Old Trafford, with Branthwaite now brushing off any suggestion he will leave Everton this summer. Branthwaite told Everton's club website, I think for me it's just about taking what I learned from last season, and the season before, and putting it all together. I think last season, Playing all the games I did helped me put performances in and get the experience I needed. In other news, Red Devils look to hijack deal before deadline as Star says yes to move. Manchester United are still set to be active in the transfer window after completing deals for Joshua Zerxi and Lenny Yoro, but have work to do to complete a deal for Manuel Ugarte. It's been a busy week for Manchester United in the transfer window, but there remains more work to be done. With United looking to bounce back from their worst-ever Premier League finish, the summer is far from over, however. So, Manchester United have reportedly agreed personal terms with Paris Saint-Germain ace Manuel Ugarte. That's according to transfer insider Fabrizio Romano, who claims Ugarte is on the brink of joining United. Fabrizio Romano said that, Manchester United have agreed on personal terms with Manuel Ugarte. Contract terms discussed player keen on moving to United even without Champions League football. Club-to-club -club talks continue with PSG, as more clubs also inquired. Same agent as Lenny Yoro, Jorge Mendes. 